Pen and Wilk. I am the last hit point hero, and you have found your way to Neon Lights roleplay. We are so very glad you're here and hope you enjoy your stay. Tonight, we return to our playthrough of the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition adventure module Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. I shall show them what it means to defy my will. First and foremost, no attempts to make the story child appropriate have occurred. This is a tale of cold isolation, alien incursion, and self-centered divinity. This actual play stream contains adult language, adult themes, descriptions of violence, light gorse, some light scary images. If you don't like ice, this isn't the show for you, and generally speaking, a great deal of cold. Our players are here to warm the night. Safety tools are in place for the players, but you do not have such a luxury, so if at any point you find yourself uncomfortable or not having a good time, feel free to step away for a bit. We'll be here, at least for the next several hours. Come back and join us when or if you're ready. We'd love to have you. Uh, but barring that, please kick back, relax, keep all heads, hands, paws, and claws inside the stream at all times. Click the Discord link that I just know will spontaneously appear in chat to be part of the Neon Lights roleplay community. Follow us if you don't follow us. Like us on stuff, because liking on stuff tricks the algorithm, and you always have to trick algorithm. I don't know why he does need trick. Um, does. But above all of that, there is one rule. Good. The rule. Good. Uh, as for our players, they will be introducing themselves, saying hello and answering the question for the night, which I forgot to tell them about in advance, so I probably ought to tell them and then explain that one's missing so they can think about it. Uh, so the question of the night is this. There's a little bit of a context for it. You see, Oral, the Frost Maiden, is a lesser god in the D&D pantheon. You have the greater gods and you have the lesser gods. Uh, the lesser gods, just like the greater, cannot be slain permanently, so long as there is at least a single worshipper present to praise them. So the question I have is, with that knowledge of the lesser gods, has your character ever considered the possibility that you're fighting something you can't kill unless people stop worshipping her everywhere? Has that crossed your character's minds yet? And if it has... What's the plan if she comes back later? Curious. So that's that's the question of the night. And while you mull that over, uh, Al will not be joining us this evening. They are away. No problem at all. We will welcome them back with open arms upon their return. Uh, a little bit of an announcement. We will not be here two weeks from now. Uh, I will be out of reach of the internet for that particular weekend. Uh, but we will be working our way through the last, uh, the last chapter. A long chapter from reading through it, but the last chapter of uh, you know, Cold Hands Warm Hearts. Probably, you know, a good 16 episode chapter. I think that's about where we're at. Um, so, yeah, as for introductions themselves, uh, you know, I figured eventually we're all going to be replaced by machines anyway. So I just went ahead and had chat GPT generate everybody's introductions for tonight. So I, I pawned that off to the. The great old, great old AI brain, and uh, we'll, we'll let we'll see we'll see if uh, ChatGPT is just going to take my job from now on. And, uh, it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> it, I I was expecting more. I think I, I think I need to work on my prompt writing, as you know, tell you. Um, <clears throat> so, starting uh, just below me. <clears throat> Sir Hecalot is an adventurous and charismatic friend, known for their zest for life and love of the arts. With their boundless enthusiasm and genuine compassion, they are a valued and captivating companion. It's Sir Hecalot. You know, maybe maybe I needed a robot to tell me that today, because that felt that felt good. That felt good. Um, I also do want to point out, I think this is the first episode that has not been like the exact same intro script from HP and it threw me off. Like, I was just like, uh, what do you mean? That's not what he usually says. That's wild. Um, but anyway, 
<laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Sir Hecklot, you know. Um, and as per usual, tonight I am playing Astoria, DHMR Lord Bard. The two of us use she, her, or she, they pronouns. She uses she, her pronouns. Other way around. My brain is soup. Um, to answer the question, though, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't think Astoria really thought about that that much. But, like, now that, you know, that is kind of, like, more in the consciousness like i don't know how many how many more followers could there be if she kills them off like i don't know maybe she's just gonna like burn the bridges for us anyway i don't know that, that's what's going on in her brain now um so yeah so hope beat her up often enough that she hangs around long enough to get rid of her last own follower yeah maybe the trials are very hard. We we learned that firsthand. Um, well, yeah, that's enough for me. Perfect. Heading down and around over to T. Um, T is a steadfast and dependable friend who stands by your side through thick and thin, offering unwavering support and loyalty. Their reliability and genuine friendship make them an essential and cherished part of your life. It's T. You know, people said the same thing about me like in reality surprisingly but uh hi i'm t and my pronouns are he they i'm playing Ron, his pronouns are he him and he is a human paladin with not very much brains um so i would say you know honestly like Ron worships it Ron is like a devout deity worshiper he's quite aware that like you can't just like permanently destroy arl in any like meaningful way um <clears throat> at least in terms of like making her not come back for a while anyways um so beyond that he doesn't really think it's possible to like prevent her from existing in general um you know because it's not really the like the human worshippers of Arl might die out but she also i think she's worshipped by like, the giants and She's worshipped by the kobolds and, like, uh, uh, some of, like, the barbarian tribes. And they're they're pretty devout worshippers. So, like, unless you want to resort to, like, extreme means, which he knows what these means are because their country does them, um, you're not going to get rid of her. Um, so, like, that's kind of a no, but we can at least, like, his, his goal is really to stop this event as soon as possible and to weaken her fan base so that she can't have a comeback and she's like canceled for a little while is kind of what he's hoping. Her fan base? Fan base. <laughs> got... Try... Hash... Hashtag cancel Aural. No yeah, subscribers. Exactly. Look, cancel, yeah, cancel, cancel your Aurel. subscription. No... Yeah, no no more Aural. Um, she tried to she tried to delete um, the was it she tried to uh delete the upper hemisphere so um you gotta she's canceled now hashtag she, canceled she is selfishly ravaging the climate and needs to be stopped immediately. exactly there you go yeah so you just gotta like undo your oral subscription now you there gotta you go. subscribe to uh step, to step back from winter re-up your spring subscriptions yeah exactly see there you go perfect just switch hemispheres every season Continuing down and around in the bottom right corner of your screen, <clears throat> allow me to introduce Janie, a vibrant and creative friend who brightens any room with her artistic flair and infectious energy. Her passion for life and talent for making meaningful connections make her a delightful and cherished companion. It's Janie Paul. You're muted, Janie. That was totally on purpose. I am Janie, uh, Janie Hot seventy five seventy five, and places online. And I play May, who, um, you know, if you think she's not a deity, but if you're thinking about switching it up, you know, her name is May. She's a queen. You know, you could switch seats. And May for spring. godhood. May for godhood. Hey, I'm just saying. Hashtag May for godhood. Yeah. May ascends. We're at the job than Oral is, so. Just saying, you could just switch up right now. It's free. <laughs> you've got, <laughs> you've got those, 
those no cost prime subscriptions just sitting there unused. But I swear May's nice. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Fantastic. And last but not least, what I thought was so all of these had the exact identical prompt. In no more than two sentences, introduce my friend, and then your tag goes in. That's what all of these got. So uh, keep that in mind as I read the last one. Because all the prompts are identical except for the name. So there's okay. something about the name that shifts every prompt. Uh, so with all of that build up, meet Squiggles, a mysterious and unconventional friend who marches to the beat of their own drum, bringing an intriguing and unpredictable element to any group with their uh, enigmatic nature and unique perspective they add an element of surprise and curiosity to every gathering. Squiggles. Oh yeah, that was awesome! Yes! Hi, I'm Squiggles. My pronouns are he, him. I play the uh, lovable rogue um, Hush. Pronouns are also he, him. Um, that was awesome! Alright, chat GPT. Let's go! Yeah! Oh, can you send that to me, actually, HP? I'm <laughs> I'm gonna just, frame that somewhere, you know. I'll see if I can get it. I just closed it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But wait, um, wait, wait. Wait, it keeps my history. Do it. Let's go. To answer the question though, um, without a shadow of a doubt, um, Hush has no idea that he is fighting a deity in any way. Um, he thinks he's probably fighting a uh. Uh, a, a really, really, really cool owlbear um, who is able to duplicate itself or um, quite possibly a druid, um, like a really, really super awesome druid um, but has no clue that um, he is fighting some kind of lesser deity in this um, uh, at this time. The only god that he really knows and sort of cares about is um, Brandabaris. Uh, so Everything, yeah, any, any, anything and anything else would sort of fly out of, um, fly out of his brain. He wouldn't even, wouldn't even be on the radar. So that was interesting when you put it towards um, us as a group. It's like, oh no, no, Hush wouldn't. Hush is just like, yeah, throwing blades. One's gonna hit. How come she can see me? <laughs> that shouldn't be <laughs> possible. That kind of thing. So yeah, Hush be. Fantastic. Uh, there's all of your chat GPT introductions in the group chat for everyone. Um, I am, again, the last tip point here. I'll use the he and pronouns and will be uh, the various others that uh, everyone runs into throughout this adventure, which in this particular instance is the Frost Queen in her second form. So far, the Cold Hands crew have been uh, exploring what is essentially the Frost Maiden's vault. It's where she had kept the souls of she had captured who were released um, through a the powerful use of Nethrilee's magic, maybe a hint at just how strong Nethrilee's magic is. Um, they slayed various dwellers of this under glacier area and uh, have already run into the Frost Maiden down here once. She had multiple mirrored images. They had to figure out which was the real one and through the beauty of luck and some very unexpected application of a ram ring, uh, they did beat down Aurel's first form uh, and then wander away to explore for a bit. Uh, during their explorations, they ran into a massive, frozen, otherworldly creature, something that invaded their very thoughts, something that pulled at their good memories. Um, Memories of their childhood. In fact, um, there was one member of the party who, uh, while the character was present, the player was not. And we did play that out and rolled for them. But because of the ramifications, before we even get into this first encounter, we have to step back for just a moment. Uh, so rather than entering this hallway to see Aurel, you find yourselves once again before it, the massive frozen form of this semi-humanoid, semi-tentacled, extra-dimensional being. Um, 
And as uh, just a reminder for all of you and for for uh, for T for uh, Rom's player, uh, as you approached, there were hints of your childhood that came to the surface of everyone's minds. Uh, some it was a smell, some uh, a taste. Uh, for Brom, it was the memories of watching his father go through fighting forms for the first time. It was this very early moment of being introduced to the martial forms of the faith. And that memory kind of tugged at Brom and... Uh, Brom, what I would like you to do for me, um, in fact, I need to double check which save it was because I don't want to give you the wrong save. Uh, but it was, I believe, you know, a prepared person would have had that right in front of me because I knew I was going to start with it instead of having to riff a little bit. Um, but you, you did, you started walking toward it and you you did have that memory and it kept surfacing and uh what i need is an intelligence saving throw from Brian. oh no it's like his worst stat all right oh okay from he rolls that I'll, I'll remind you that uh may was uh i don't know it was brom drawn to it holy cow a what? natural <laughs> it's <20. Yes>. real <laughs> luck is oh. real ah. he's just like why would we worry like, yeah what do you mean? Why were uh, we worried? Why was he worried? He's so what? dumb. He <laughs> just rolled really well. <sighs> so, while we are going to retain the fascination that Brom had, uh, because Brom was the reason you were delayed an hour, um, mm -hmm. you found yourself completely enamored with this memory of your youth, and you sit in front of this ice wall, this barely, if, you know, if if there's any movement, it's probably in your mind more than in reality. You stand before this frozen being and you spend an hour just reveling in memories of your childhood. Any important memory that you can think of. They come to the surface, happy ones, not not the sad ones, very specifically the happy memories of your child. What are, what would be another one? I, I had to make up on the fly the one of uh, your, your, you watching your father go through the martial forms. What's a happy memory? I think probably one of his happiest, well, one of his happiest memories was, um, you know, since he is based essentially he has a brother but the brother is actually younger so he's considered the older brother and um he had a very proud moment where uh you know his father told him like you know you're this is going to be like a, a gift and a burden you're going to be the one who's responsible for you know taking care of our legacy and you know protecting you know the manor and um all of our lands and you know and of course the other important thing is, you know, since they're essentially a family of, they're not all, they're not all paladins, but, um, they are all the member of the Holy Order. Um, essentially he'd be like, you know, your job would be to protect, you know, all the weak, you know, ensure that you destroy any evil you come across and, um, essentially carry our name. And this is an incredibly important task that I trust you to do. And... You know, that was a, something, you know, diff, obviously difficult, but, but touching for him um, that he'd be trusted with so much. You let the, that memory wash over you, barely noticing the time passing. And when it finally does, your friends are there to shake you awake. Everyone able to resist at least losing it. And while you can see 
that there is a, a passageway to the south to leave. You are unnerved by the experience. And all of you go back north, the direction you came. And as you re-enter this room with the massive hole in the floor, you do come across the form of Aurel standing there. But that is where I have to cut away for just a moment in those moments before you lock eyes with the second form of Lady Iskis. Oh, do they think they are? Do they think I am? None can stand before me. None will survive me. I will lay claim to this land, reseal this vault. With a snap of her fingers, Oro calls into being an ice method. The small elemental flaps and cackles as it takes in its newfound existence, looking at the, sh the light shining off of the ice around them. With a, 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 a chuckle and a laugh, they break their wings and they take to the air and in a flash, Lady Ice Kiss snatches the being from its maiden flight, twists its head from its body, detonating it into a burst of ice and snow. After scores of methods are created and destroyed, the lesser goddess begins to calm. Returning fully to her icy demeanor, fury honed from a bludgeon back to its razor edge, she lifts her head and looks down the hall. And as you enter this room with the hole in the floor, you see before you Lady Ice Kiss herself. Her sharp, angular features dominating your attention. It's as though an entire collar of ice is raised up above her neck, leading toward a crown of jagged crystal. Her elbows, her shoulders, her knees, all reflect the sharpness of ice itself, the facets of the diamonds, of the gem that is. She looks in your direction. The entire room begins to shake and shudder. Ice falls from the ceiling. The ground quakes. And I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. God. Oh, All right, let's see me stand failing now. Before... <laughs> there we go. I'll take that 24. Fuck yeah. Nice. 18, look at y'all. I see you. 18, 24, there she is. Mm, don't oh, like it. I don't her. want it. Look at her chat. Oh, oh and there's the methods. 24, 18, 18, 27. 27. Let's go. Everyone yes. except Mirth catches oh. them. Oh, no, not Mirth. As the ground quakes, Sorry, crystals of ice, six feet. In diameter, like six foot gems of ice descend from the seal. Mirth slips, falls, and starts sliding toward the massive hole in the floor. And before any of you have the opportunity to reach out and grab him, he drops. And is gone. Did I have time to cast Featherfall? Uh, 
You don't need to use a spell slot. It was a convenient way for me to remove a character from dangerous situations when the player's not there. Okay. So we're saying Mirth is okay. <laughs> yes. Mirth so, is at least not in danger by the Frostbait. Okay. So there are a few things that you see. Uh, I also need initiative. And all of you no, asked, no. which is fantastic. Well, I don't really want to roll that. Oh, wait, don't roll it yet. I have to hit the button. Okay. And then I have to clear the last time. I'm so bad at clearing out the last one. Well, you know, you, you don't have to have us roll it. You could just, just be like, you all win. I could just put we you win. last. You're right. You know, you're. that's right. Uh -oh. You don't. Uh -oh. I didn't say that. Well, I heard that. <laughs> you might have to input uh, me because like I could tell by having two instances of roll 20 upstream was just chugging so you're probably gonna have oh, no, that's fine. I, I closed the second instant out just so like chat can see the map I was like you know how about we don't drop stream I think that's a great idea well I rolled a 12 so you know yeah, 12 12 is a number 12, 12 is a number I have a plus 4 to initiative <laughs> oh, I didn't select my token. Yep, you have to select your token. I can I can plug it back in though. So if you've rolled, you feel any oh, better? I rolled a nine, but I have a. I have plus you 10. have a plus ten to your initiative. All right, then we will put uh, May in there. What'd you get, May? Twelve. Uh, Four hundred. Four hundred. That doesn't yes. quite sound right. I mean. Uh, I, I just, mean, it's just 12, but 400 is better. 400. Can you imagine playing a game where 400 would be an acceptable number? To well, with my bonuses, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> As for her, she will take her time. Good. Dropping from time. the ceiling around her are also a number of ice methods. Oh, man. Did Three, kill them all? to be exact. And uh, you should be able to see on your screen a number of crystals in the room. Can everyone see those crystals? Yeah. Okay. I, just want to make, I just want to make sure you can see them. Oh, That's boy. <laughs> we definitely can. Uh, Definitely now very afraid. Afraid of a sure crystal? Fine. Yeah, it sure is fine. What's, I mean, what are the odds that it's something malicious? Do you, high, do you very high. <laughs> really, really high. The highest it could possibly be. Why didn't that put it in the stinking? You know, it is misbehaving. I don't know why. Sorry, brief ice method difficult. Oh, please. Ice method. There we go. Difficulties. All right, put you in the correct order, descending order, starting with Hush. Hush, you respond immediately when you see the ice, uh, the frost maiden. Okay. Seeing as the Frost Maiden is looking all frosty and stuff, I I don't know why I said that actually. <laughs> I am I'm going to uh do a little I can't even hide. I can't no, do what? I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stay exactly where I am. Wait. Do I, I'm I'm talking, I'm speaking, and I don't know how far I am away from anyone or anything. Can that a mercy? That's very there far you go. away. Um, I have sixty feet of throwing range, so I am going to have to move. Let us move forward. We're going to move. I've got twenty, about twenty-five feet of movement. I think it. Yes, twenty-five meters. Meter. I'm gonna get about here. Yeah. Move, move, move. Why won't you move? Oh, it's pressed. That's yep, why. You have to go back to the, the arrow. Arrow. I'm so good at this game. Thanks for playing, guys. Uh, I want to know if 
I'm in range for her. No, I'm not in range for her. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go and attack this dude here. I'm just gonna That's throw good. a couple of knives his way, her way, its way, their way. I'm comfortable. With this. Our it's way, nice comrade. <laughs> <laughs> That way. That way. That way. In that direction. Um, where is it? So I have my... I can't read my thing. Psychic plate. Where are you? There you are. Psychic plate. I do the first one. 27 will hit. Sounds so good. It, there is no sneak attack, though, is there? Oh, no. No. It's fine. Seven! Seven! Seven is a number. The uh, psychic blade goes flying across the room, connects with an ice method, and uh, it squeals a bit and loses a little bit of uh, of its balance and poise in the air, but doesn't fall. Let's do another one, then! That one hits, too. And... Oh, eight! Eight! Eight is more than seven, and uh, this one... Seven. It knocks the ice method from the air. It drops down to the ground, but doesn't stay down. It crawls back up and takes to the air again, but it is looking to be in bad shape. Oh, I'm going to say these guys are tougher than I thought. And I'm going to ready some new uh, blades for the next round. And that's my turn. All right, Brom. He's going to do some things this turn. Um, he's going to look at those crystals. Do they look important? Uh, if you get closer to one, you can have a better idea of what it might be. Okay. Uh, what he's going to do, though, is he's going to use haste on himself. Uh-huh. So is that his full action? I can't remember. Uh, it is an action, yes. But you now have okay. another action. Nice. The clinking sound coming from Brom speeds up. It starts <laughs> to sound like a steel drum. Amazing. And then he's going to use Hunter's Mark uh, on Aro. All right. I think you can't do anything else. I guess he can move. So Hunter's Mark is a bonus action. But that is two leveled spells. Right. Well, he doesn't have cantrips. He doesn't have cantrips. It's not one of those. Yes. No, no, that's right. I can't tell if you're deep in thought or if your camera froze. I'm, I'm deep. I'm deep in thought. I'm thinking. All right. Um, can't do much else. He's gonna move over here. To look at this and uh, draw his sword. All right, you have an action. If you'd like, you can make an uh, Arcana check or a Religion check, uh, or even Investigation. I'd accept any. I think uh, Religion's probably the only good. If he has. Sounds good. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm laughing because none of these are good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so bad. Okay. So as as you look into the face of this crystal, you, you can see that it's made of ice. It's not a mineral. Um, but that was kind of obvious. You try and make a connection between it and and the frost maiden, but as you do, you're distracted by 
your own image. You see yourself reflected a hundred times in the facets of this massive gem-like piece of ice. But the difference is, in the reflection, you're not wearing your helmet. In the reflection, it's your face. And it is twisted into a look of utter terror. Incredible. That's great. Uh, you still have plenty of movement left and an action from your haste. Right. I think I'm too far from the ice methods. You could also use your action to dash, which would let you go even further. Okay. Um... You know what? He's gonna try and javelin one of the ice methods. He's gonna javelin this one. All right, go ahead. Uh, you gotta roll to hit first. Oh, I did. It's bad. Wait, no, it didn't roll nope, to hit. That's okay. all damage. <laughs> what? All right. It just kept rolling damage. Why? <laughs> all yes. right. Did it work this time? An 18 will hit. Uh, your javelin right. goes flying through the air across and uh, connects with that ice method for nine Great. piercing damage. Pretty good. He kind of does that like Olympic thing where like the, the javelin goes over their head and then they kind of take a couple steps and throw. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, you would still have 30 feet of movement left if you want to use it. Otherwise, you can be done. And May is you. Okay, so um, I wanted to check out the crystal. All right, right. I'm gonna move myself. Um, Go ahead and move up to any of them. To okay. this one. You can give me an Arcana investigation or religion check. I guess um, investigation. I don't know. Go ahead. The same. 18. 18's very good. Uh, there's two things you notice. The first is as you are looking into the face of this crystal, you see yourself reflected back a hundred times. Once, twice in each facet. Sometimes your face is upside down, sometimes mirrored. But in all of them, you see your face grimacing in extreme pain in each of your reflections. But as you look at it, you start to see a similarity between this ice and and the ice that makes up the second form of oral. There is a similarity between the two. Uh, it's almost as though... <sighs> There's something about this that seems unformed or partially formed. An 18 is probably the best descriptor you have for it. Okay, I am. I've changed my mind what I'm going to do then. But I am going to look at my grimacing face and be like, I don't really look like that when I grimace. <laughs> um, and I am going to attack the, the crystal. Okay, feel free. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to attack it with. <laughs> I guess with my dagger. Okay. Don't know what that's going to do, but. Go ahead and roll to hit. <laughs> 13. 13 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Three. Three. Your dagger scratches across the surface of this piece of ice and it gouges a line through the ice. Um, and there's just this this almost 
nails on chalkboard squeal as you slash across it. Um, Oral flinches a little bit, um, but otherwise, you seem to have slightly damaged. Well, that's what it gets for giving me an inaccurate reflection. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Bonus action? Anything else? I am not. No, I don't think I have another dagger, so I'm not going to do anything else. All right. Astoria, you're up. All right. Well, let's see, Geller chat, how far I can get over here. Okay. Well, I can't. Well, I can't really go that far, huh? Um, I'm just, I'm gonna go as far as I can go this way. Okay. Um, all right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, do, is this communicated, like, what these crystals do, like, to anybody else? I've just seen May attack one, I guess, so it's like, I guess that's, like, good enough. So far, you've seen Brom run up to one and look at it, uh-huh. and then run the opposite direction from it. Yeah. <laughs> you have seen May run up to one, make a face at it, and then slash at it with her dagger. Okay, so what's That's the what deal with mean? these? Um, I guess I will also try to discern. Sure. One. Bonus action. Because <laughs> like, I'm not going to do Arcana, anything. Arcana, investigation, or um, uh, religion. I'll do an investigation. I have a plus seven to it, so it should be good. Um, sure. unless I roll a natural one, never mind, I don't know shit. Um. Uh, as you stare into the face of this, the, the only thing you really notice is you see your own reflection looking back at you. Um, and it looks absolutely exhausted. Okay, interesting. Why are we all um, these different emotions? Yeah, um, I don't know, but they're all bad, and I don't like that. Um, and I think that's the point. Um. Now seeing that it is a bad mirror, and this is probably why May attacked it, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Thunder Wave, just kind of like across it. Sure. Um, let's do some thunder damage. Let's just see what happens. Sure. I, I guess I'm just gonna roll it. I don't know if it saves. Yep. It does not get a dexterity oh. save. Okay, great. So that is because it is dexterity, not constitution, right? Great. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it rolls a okay, con save. Yep. Um. Oh, if it rolls a con save, it does get a save. Oh, okay. Well, great. <laughs> Roll me a con save. Uh, a 17. Oh my god, that is my DC. Are you kidding me? It takes half. <laughs> then. That is so what? stupid. I'm so <laughs> mad that a mirror made my fucking save. Are you kidding me? It's a six foot ice gym. I hate that. I hate that so much. Anyway, this is almost as bad as a fucking rock in this one shot I had with Turk actually making the deck save. Like, I was so angry about that. I was like, what do you mean a rock beat my fucking save? Anyway, yeah, I don't. It was a special magical. Now, rock. I don't know. Lots now of you've been beaten there. by a rock and a gym. And yeah, I know. Yeah, that's you know great. Um, yeah. but anyway, well, it still takes half damage. So that means sure. um, it would be five then because it was nine total. Right. So yeah. y- you send this wave of thunder energy into this gym, and it uh, it doesn't get pushed because it made the save, right? No. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it it stays, but like. <laughs> so it it shudders in midair, and you can see cracks forming around it um and it does do a decent amount of damage um as the cracks splinter across it uh oral glances at you attacking uh the gym and flinches just a little bit almost imperceptibly Uh, but that's kind of the only reaction Uh Uh anything else um that's all i can do Okay, uh, it is Aurel's turn, and uh, Aurel is going to look at the four of you in her presence and uh, look at her ice methods and say, tear them to peace. And then she will flick her hand uh, toward this mirror right here next to uh, to Brahmin May. And Uh-oh. one of the splinters of her hand, this dart of ice six inches long is going to go flying toward that mirror and as soon as it hits it 
it passes into it with a ripple and then comes out toward Braum. But there's two. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. Like a 21 Why, to hit, Braum, and a 20 to hit. Uh, okay. Um, he has resistance to cold, cold damage. So... Yep, yep. Uh, his... Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Do both hit, then? Uh, I think haste did his... Doesn't his, like, hit point... Haste is plus point? two. It does, plus yeah, it does okay, so, I forgot about that. Yeah, catch. So, his, so his is 21 right now. Unless okay. anyone... Unless any of the bards did anything. Nope, the bards didn't do anything. Okay. So only one of them hit you. Uh, okay. So it's minimum damage. Four piercing... All right. And uh, th- uh, three cold. So only one cold and four piercing. Okay. That could not have gone worse. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? At least the mirror did better. Yeah. So uh, she will shift to. That uh... hurt my head. Uh, no, she'll actually stay where she is, and uh, frustrated, she will send out two more of those darts, uh, this time at this mirror. Both of them will pass with a ripple into the mirror and split coming out the other side into four. Uh, two at May and two more at Brown. So May, there is a 23 to hit for you. God, a damn. 24 to hit for you. God damn. A, a 9 for Braum. And a 26 for Braum. Oh my god. Dude, we gotta She's get, on fire. Yeah, we gotta get <laughs> rid of these things, yo. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, for yeah, that's, May, that's yeah. 5 piercing, 6 piercing, 5 cold, and 6 cold. So that is 11 cold and 11 piercing for 22 damage. I don't want that much damage. And then Brom, that is going to be six piercing and three cold. So just one cold and six piercing. That puts me at less than half of my... I'm at 21 HP now. God. No. Already? You will learn. Uh, That's the end of her turn. Uh, this ice method is going to, uh, fly right over here. And actually, it's going to fly right, whoops. It's going to fly right up next to Brom. Perfect. Uh, and is going to, uh, blast out a cone of cold. So Oops. I need... A dexterity save from Braum and a dexterity save from me. That spell is so nasty. I'm so scared. Oh, Eight's a failure oh, and God. five's a failure. It's fine. It's just a method. It's just frost breath. It's not cone of cold. It's frost oh, breath. Oh, okay. okay. You cold. definitely okay. said cone of cold. I was like, that's it says not 15 okay. foot cone of cold. It says 15 okay. foot cone of cold. Okay. Well, the actual but spell it's frost is breath. nasty. No. No, no. Okay. It's only okay, five I'm... five cold damage okay. for each of you. Okay. All so right. Two for Brom, five for May. Uh, okay. So I don't have to roll again. No, no. Just the ones. It's fine. Uh, and then this okay. ice method is going to. Fly as fast as it can right into Astoria's face. And this other one is going to fly as fast as it can into Brahm's face. That's their turn, and hush, it's up to you. Seeing uh, the one flying towards Astoria is also the one that I tried to attack anyway. Um, right. I'm going to go for it again. Because how dare you? Oh my god, cat. Why? <laughs> cat, why why Servant why now? of the Frost Maiden. Yes. <laughs> Obstructing your view. Why? why? I love yeah, there you them. go. Uh, 
There you go. Just yeah, wants you to be part that. of stream. Just wants to be a part of our world. Yeah. Wish I could be. Yeah. Where the people are. <laughs> fair. It's fair. I also want to be where the people are. We're on the same level. It depends on the people, honestly. Honestly. I can't open my, um... Hush fights off a servant of, uh... Exactly, yeah! Look, I right. read about making a Incredible. monster that's a meta monster and attacks the players instead of the characters. Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't like that. Um, oh! It's, it's in, it's in, uh... It's, it's... I get advantage, because it's in... It's within five feet of five feet. an ally. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's sneak attack time! Did I... 19 will hit. Sneak attack. This is a waste of sneak attack. because It absolutely like... is. You detonate this ice method next to Astoria. Astoria, oh, could you I... please make a dexterity saving throw? Motherfucker. I forgot about that bit. <laughs> I forgot about that bit. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's a nine. <laughs> uh, you take two slashing damage. Okay. As the ice method bursts. The the, the blade throws out. I'm like, don't worry, I got it. And I'm like, yeah. And then, ooh. Sorry. Yeah. As very similar to last fight with Mirth. She's like, no, 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 no. And then it gets blasted. Um... <laughs> Go ahead and continue oh, yeah, your no, turn. Sorry. Oh dear. Um, I think with my, I'll use my bonus action to throw out another blade. But I'm not going to try and hit this um, this uh, mirror one instead. All right. Go ahead. Because I don't like it. Uh, there's my other psychic blade. It's a twenty-one. Twenty-one will hit. No sneak attack. That'll be nine points of psychic damage. Will psychic damage do anything? Uh, no. <laughs> psychic doesn't yeah. do anything to it. Your blade hits it, and the psychic energies uh, splash across the surface of the, the mirror and don't seem to have any effect on it. Mm, I'll focus on the living things. You get rid of this stuff. Ah! And I'm going to end my turn. As I start moving. Oh, look, actually, let me move. I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm going to move closer to, to May, I think. With the hopes that I can get closer to Oral very soon. And I end my turn. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, before Brahm takes his, uh, Oral is going to snap off a icicle from her shoulder and uh, throw it uh, in your direction. And as it flies through the air, it bursts, forms wings and legs. And uh, uh, she replaces her lost ice method. No. Cheating. Go ahead, Brom. Cheating, Oral. Oh, I'm being attacked by ice methods, I think. Uh, you've got one on each side of you, yeah. What little jerks. I'll tell you what. Um, boy, let's see. Are they within range of him, or are they doing that thing where they're flying off the ground? Oh, they're flying in your face. Oh, okay. They are more intentionally in your way. These are not clever things that are going to be out of reach. These are malicious things that like to splash against swords and weapons at the first opportunity. Uh, uh, yeah, you just <laughs> cackling ice methods in your face. That does, that's not going to do. Um... He is going to go ahead and activate his spell I couldn't activate last round, which I will go find. All right, so your hunter's mark, Aurel. I did it. 
Uh, and then he's going to go ahead and attack. I guess our best friend Ice Method Chan. And I think he's got three attacks with haste. Uh, so, yes, you get another attack with haste. Right, cool. Nice. One, two, three. Uh, so, a 21 will hit, a 15 will hit, and a 15 will hit. But it's important that we talk about the first. 21. That 13 slashing damage causes yeah. that ice method next to you to detonate. Go ahead and make a dex save as it dies. Oh, they detonate? God damn it. Save. Yeah, I'm, it's just really right. to this one. Oh, it's bad. Uh, so you take full time. Oh, and uh, wait, is it? Or is it? Remember if it's 5 or 10? Oh, it's 5. You're fine. Um, yes. <laughs> so, Brom, you only take two slashing damage from a detonating method. All right. Great. And your other two slashes go to the other ice method. Uh, nine and nine is 18. It's still alive, but it is in terrible shape as you are hacking at a method. It's dodging. Just You cannot get a clean cut with your greatsword. You know that if you can just get one clean cut... You'll cut it in half, but uh, as is, you're just nicking it. The monster. Anything else? Nope. Um, I don't think he can move without being AOP past his method. So, uh, the method would probably try and slash at you uh, as you moved away, but uh, you don't know how. You, whatever you would do. Maybe I'll move over here for now. Okay. Uh, that is far enough to get out of the method's reach, so it's going to attack you. Do you want to keep going or just... That's that's fine. I'm just going to try and attack that next door. It will slash at you with a 21. Laurel and her minions are on it. That's all there is to it. Uh, Four slashing damage and four cold damage, so only two because you resist cold. So six damage. All right, done. All right, May, it is your turn. Um, I am going to use dissonant whispers for the ice method closest to me. Okay. Sounds good. It gets a wisdom saving throw. Gets all of a five. Okay. And um, oh, it rolled the damage already at 12. 12? That's enough to finish it off. You start whispering in this thing's ear and uh Hush, you're standing right next to this ice method that just took a slash at Brom, turned around to look at you instead, and you see its ears start to melt until the ears melt all the way, and then it just pops. Give me a deck save. Ah, god damn it. Sorry. Fine. You're not going to hurt him with a deck save, don't worry. Deck save, deck save, deck save. Just... 26, you save? Yeah. It's only half damage, yes. which I think is nothing for you. Yeah, I, I have evasion. Yeah, yep. there we go. A bit of evasion. So. Perfect. So, yep, yeah, it's dead. May, you have a bonus action and move. Corkscrew in the air. Like, ooh. You dove between the pieces of ice, blasting outward. That's, that's pretty rad, actually. I'm not going to watch. You muted yourself, May or Janie? Because I like being muted. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's great. It's great, look. It's great. It's great. I'm going to give um, Hasha inspiration. All right. Perfect. That is a bardic I mean, inspiration. Yeah. Feeling yeah. good? Superhero landing, and then it feels inspired by the. Uh, yeah. This is, this is going well. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm staying right here. All right. Sounds good. Astoria. All right. Great. I already measured this last turn, but I'm going to measure it again, just in case. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. All right. 
April 20 will cooperate with me. Oh, good lord. This map is so huge. <laughs> it just chugs me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot. So it's so big. Um, hold on. It's, it's highlighting my character, and I don't want it to do that. There you go. All right. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, actually, before I do this, to confirm, um, Oral's been using that mirror to shoot the darts through to the other mirrors, right? So that's she... something that I've seen. So what you saw happen most recently mm -hmm. is she sent two darts of ice, and I'll draw it, into this mirror. Oh, I see. And when she did that, four darts of ice hit, two hit May and two hit Rob. Okay. Okay, so they can all communicate with each other. Okay. That's what you observed. Um, that so is... she threw it right at that mirror. That is my working theory. Okay, then my best get bet would be to just start with where I'm at right now. So, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, you know, let's just do second verse, same as the first. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and thunder away <laughs> this thing again. Sounds good. I mean, it doesn't have a number it's adding to it. So it only has a 3 in 20 chance. A 2. A two. All right. Well, it's going to take full damage this time. So all 2d8. Perfect. Um, what? No, I didn't cast Bane. I didn't want that. I wanted Thunder Wave. Hello. Roll, please. That's eight. Eight Thunder eight. Damage. It is... Now that there's no resistance, you really honed in on the, the frequency of the gym. And uh, yeah, it is twice as effective as you expected. And the gym... Oh, cool. Down the, down the hole snow, it goes. Snow and ice fall down into the pit. Oral doesn't seem physically hurt by that, but she does not appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Straight towards you. Yeah, I bet. Um, that's kind of glances over. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Um... And then for my bonus action, I'm going to look over to Braum and say, uh, we already took out the first form. Come on, let's get this one. Take a Bardic Inspiration. Bardic oh, Inspiration yeah. for Braum. Yeah. Any other movement? Um, ooh, actually, I could. Um, fuck, how much did I move for this one? I don't even know. I, I was like about there, so tinsel, like 20 more feet. Let's start moving up to the next one. Each box is about 10 feet. Yeah. Okay. So like, about here-ish. Great. Cool. All right. All right. That's me. Sounds good. Uh, Aurel will be, uh, yeah, glaring at, uh, at Astoria. I... <laughs> and uh, she is going to... Uh, Again, flick her wrist, and a trio of ice shards are going to go flying out. Uh, two of them are going to go toward this mirror that then pass into it like stones into a pool, uh, with four coming toward Astoria. Uh, the other one is going to be thrown down into this one, which reflects up and hits Brom. So there's four toward Astoria. I'm, I'm actually very Braum. curious. Uh, is this a spell? Uh, no. This okay, is, these are ability. physical. Okay. These are physical ice darts that she okay. is throwing. Okay, throw the shot. Uh, so Astoria, a ten to hit. No. A critical hit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a twenty-one to hit. Okay. And a twelve to hit. All right. So two of those hit. All right, so the crit is going to be... One. Uh, so it was a two on the dice. Four plus three is seven. And then the cold damage is an additional four. So that is 11 damage total to you for that one. The other one that hit you was a normal hit. So that is four... Wait, that's the hit, sorry. And not the roll damage. I was like, holy cow, we can't roll that high. Uh, six piercing... And six cold. So 
That's 12 more. Okay, for 12. Okay. I'm not looking too uh, bad, y'all. The, the two at Braum. Uh, 10 is going to miss Braum. And a 21 is going to hit Braum. Uh, Bardic minimum, inspiration do? Uh, nothing to being hit. Darn. So that's four piercing damage and five cold damage, which goes down to two. Four piercing, two cold. As these ice That's darts just go flying through the room, passing through these ice mirrors and multiplying as they head toward each of you. This uh, that is it for her. She only has one ice method still alive at the moment. Uh, and it is going to fly straight into Brahm's face because these no. ice love going straight into Brahm's face. Uh, actually, no. let's see if it's, it does have a modicum of intelligence. Uh, yep. It will go up that close, and it will release Frost Breath. So I need... No. How no. very dare you? Ice Method. 13 saves. 13. 14 saves. Uh, half damage for each of you, so the five... Half of half, you take one cold damage, Brom. Hooray. And, uh, and Hush takes none. Yay. Uh, Hush, it is your turn. It's me. It's me. It's DDP. That's a uh, wrestling thing for everyone. Exactly. Old school wrestling. Uh, <laughs> I am now in, in range of uh, oral second form, so I am going to stay exactly where I am, and I'm going to take a nice steady aim to give myself advantage on this attack, because I'm coming in with the sneak attack. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I wish I clicked the button as I did that, but I missed it <laughs> first time now, so that would be a... 26 will hit. I'm Go ahead and roll I'm damage. Sneak attack. Holy cow, that's 28 damage. Damn, boy. Yeah. 28 damage on the ice lady. As your psychic blade goes flying through the air, it connects and just hacks away part of the Frost Maiden's face. She just... And as her head snaps back, her entire form coalesces and becomes one of these gems. Uh. The gem oh. next to you breaks into pieces into her form. Oh, oh no. You know. Still your turn, huh? Uh, I can't move now because I've used steady aim. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, well, shit. I don't like, uh -oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I've used my action bonus action. I can't do nothing. I'm just going to um, look at her and possibly do a bit. And then my turn. At the end of your turn, she raises one of her, she raises her left arm and makes a fist. And as she does, spikes of ice extend from her fist and she just sweeps down right at you, Hush. For a uh, 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. Uh, that hits. <laughs> like, hold on, would it be worth doing a cutting words at this point? I don't know what Hush's AC is, so I couldn't tell you. Um, I don't know hey. how far that's over. A cutting words would be a really great idea. Okay, that's great. <laughs> all right, that's all I needed to hear. It's like, I don't want to metagame it too much, so great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go ahead and do a cutting words then. Okay, go ahead. Um, okay, I'm just going to roll a d8 in here because that's going to be easier. Minus four, so, so that's a 14. 18 becomes a 14. Yeah. Save. Nice. Miss. She starts <gasps> swinging her massive fist, and uh, Astoria says something. 
You know what we've learned? That you're a coward. She's distracted enough that she swings high over the halfling. Brom, it's your turn. All right. Uh... Hmm. Oh, BRB. Uh, Brom is going to... Probably attack the stupid little ice method. Um, okay. <laughs> it's a it's personal uh, at this point. Yeah, he's just like sigh. Twenty eight will definitely hit. Sixteen slashing. <laughs> just like beating the hell out of it. It's you almost knock it out of the air. The only thing that kept it from dying is you hit. You hit it with the flat of your blade instead of the the sharp of it. And as you come back through and bat it again, you just detonate its body all over. So go ahead and make a deck save as it dies. All right. Twenty-one saves. 21. Uh so right. it's piercing damage is halved. So you only take three piercing damage. All right, now he's going to attack this crystal. All right. His last attack. 21 will hit. Uh, 14, you send splinters of cracks all over this thing, and it is... It's still present. It's still there, um, but it is not in good shape. Yeah. Um, And then for his gift, I think he can do... I think he can do Shield of Faith, but I think it's for an hour, but it's like once a day, if I remember correctly. He's already done that. Yep, you already did your once a day Shield of Faith. Already oh, wait, no, done. That was the previous day. Oh, okay. Well, it's a reaction, so I can do it now. Uh, it's a bonus action. Bonus action. I should still be able to do it now. Mm -hmm. All right, plus two AC. Now he's 23 AC. All right. Anything else, Brom? Nope. Brom's done. Uh, Brom, at the end of your turn, uh, the Frost Maiden uh, looks at the two forms next to her, already swung at one of them. So uh, she is going to take that mace of a hand and try and backhand May with it. <laughs> no, I can't no. do anything this time. No. A 21 to hit, May. Can I lie? To... It doesn't hit. That but... is eight piercing damage and ten cold. I'm out. The Frost no. Maiden smashes May across her face, and you can see the blades of this Morning Star fist catch her and cut through her cheek as it spins her to the ground. She falls in a heap. Three remain. Uh, May. Make a death saving throw. If you did that one, it's her. Then it'd be a natural 20. Come on, incoming nat 20. Come on, that would actually be one. so metal. That'd be Eight. so fucking cool. Oh, shit. That fuck. is one failure. Astoria, it's your turn. Yeah, hi, hello, okay, I can come over here, which is great, because I think keeping my distance is going to be a really good idea. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, first off, we're going to bonus action healing word over to May, and I'm going to cast it at fourth level. Um, so let's do that real fast. Um... Let's see, did it do that correctly? Um, yeah, no, I just rolled kind of low. Um, so that's 12. All right. Um, so May is back up. Okay. Um, 
And then... I give myself hmm? HP. I give myself yep. 12. Yes. You give yourself 12. Um, okay. Yeah, no. I think... Okay, I think this is going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one more time. Oh, yeah, no, I can do this. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to take my uh, my trusty Ring of the Ram here, and I'm going to take a shot at her. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this, Rama. this is going to be... I, I'm hoping this is going to hit. Or, Okay, does, does a 16 hit? A 16 does hit. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> come on. Okay. Um, no, come back. I need to roll my damage. It's 2d10 force. <laughs> That's 18 damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it's two nines. It's two nines. Um, this massive ram's head just <laughs> blasts out toward her. And you see... Hush... You and May, as you open your eyes, now healed. And Hush, as you look up, you see this knowing look cross the Frost Maiden's face as this ram just smashes into her. I'm this going ethereal to hit ram. all of them. I'm going to hit every form with this. <laughs> just for the do it. Yes. Do it. You should do it. You should like make a way to like uh, to like uh, upgrade the ram so you can just keep using it. Oh my just, like, god. Ram. Yeah, spam ram. And I just used one. So, yep. And that's all I. I can hope do. the rams have that's different forms as well. <laughs> As she, yeah, this this ram, instead of being very animalistic, was all made of ice. Yes. She, as, as this ram head hits her, she doubles over uh, and takes the form of one of these icicles, or ice gems, before the one close to heck bursts. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of expecting this one. I have a quick question. When they burst, did they leave any pieces behind? Uh, they, um, oh, sorry. I put it back. They're, they're gone after they burst. So okay. she, essentially she hatches from it. Okay. I kept replacing okay. it on accident. Uh, Astoria, anything else? Uh, no, that's my turn. <laughs> At the end of your turn, uh, she is going to turn and flick an ice dagger into this one. Which then will bounce towards you. Two of them. Oh no. I've I've poked the bear, y'all. So I'm that's so 20, 23 and 21 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. For seven piercing and one cold on the first one. And five piercing and six cold on the second. 29 damage. Okay, I'm I'm still up, y'all, but I'm not looking great. And then on her turn, she will take the distance between the two of you. Did you say coward? She will raise her fist, smash it down at you. Is 23 to hit. Yeah, I mean, for yeah, there's, yeah, there's, even if I used uh, cutting words, five piercing <laughs> and 15 cold. <laughs> yeah, that takes it. That's, that's all you need. I'm out. And then she will turn and send a dagger flying. Uh, she doesn't have an angle for it. That's 15. Nope, she doesn't have an angle for it, so she only sends one. She sends one ice dart toward Hush. That is 22 to hit. Yeah, that's that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit nicely. Five piercing and five cold. Okay. Uh, all her methods are dead, so Hush, it's your turn. Damn it. Um, seeing Astoria go down, he's gonna go, mm, no! And trying to decide what he should do. Should he try and help her up? Or 
I think he's I think he's better served just going in for the assault. So uh Oh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I have three rolls to do. You, at least, like you're, you're good. Yeah, what we, are the we odds have time the unless she tries to outright one. kill me. Yeah, unless I roll a one too. But you know, those are circumstantial. It'll be fine. I'm gonna try and do the steady aim again. I'm gonna stay okay. where I am. Mm -hmm. This. Uh, yeah, I'm still in range. And yeah, to, to get that sneak attack. Um, yeah, trying to get that sneak attack. To... That is a critical hit. Yo! <laughs> okay, big damage, big damage. Come on, Squiggles, you got this. Come on. Big now. damage. Yes. Come on. You got Come this. On. Big damage, Here big damage, big go. damage, big Let's damage. Go. Let's go. Let's. Yay! 11 plus 5 plus 15 plus 17. Yo. That is 16, 31, 48 damage. Yeah. As entire chunks of her ice go breaking off as the psychic blade buries deep and just detonates. Ah, she hisses in fury. And yeah. is not looking very good. Yeah, no, she probably should have stayed over there. She had a better chance of taking them out. <laughs> not getting that. Don't hurt my friends. I have my turn. <laughs> uh, uh. Yep, she's happy where she's at. Uh, hush, at the end of your turn... She is going to break off one of the icicles from her shoulder and throw another ice method into existence. Uh oh. She doesn't throw it there. That's just where I hit it. Right there. Just breaks it off of herself. Yes, she breaks off a piece of ice, and as she throws the ice, it sprouts wings and becomes an ice method. Uh, takes to the air with full health, not almost empty health. Uh, it catches itself mid-flight and starts cackling. <laughs> Happy to exist. Uh, Brom, it's your turn. All right. Um, Brom is going to attack this cute little crystal. Okay. It is already in very bad shape right now. 19 One will hit, hit and 15 will blow it up. Sweet. So you shatter this this gem like piece of ice. It's like swings right through it. All right, and now he's gonna try and get over there. Oh my god, sorry. It's like roll twenty is not. I have a lot of movement now. I think I can move twice my speed. Yes, so you can move a total like of like all the way over there. Sixty. So you have plenty of movement to get. All right, Ice Maiden. Time to get two more hits, maybe. Go ahead and swing. Um, he's gonna do. He's gonna be real mean and um, probably use smite on her. Okay, so the nineteen hits. Oh wait, the nineteen was oh, the yeah. frost method. The thirteen misses. All right, you are inspired. Then he's... You are inspired. Oh yeah, I am inspired. That's a D eight, I believe. It is a D8. All right, I'm going to inspire myself. Seven. Seven more. Yeah. 20 will hit, so that's enough for it to hit. All right. He's also going to try and hurt her a lot. Um, okay. Hell yeah. So he's going to smite her. Let's see. What, is... what are you, smite? No, stop scrolling. What level spell splot are you going to use? Two. All right, so you roll uh, 4d8. Wait, three. Can I also branding smite her? Uh, so that is a bonus action to cast branding smite. Do I have a bonus action? You still have your bonus action. You can, you've not cast any spells. You can turn on branding smite. Usually you do that before you hit. Um, okay, I think I've mentioned I before to do it before you hit. Um, but 
I will say. Uh, but, hmm. Well, I can attack a second time, so I can do it for that one. One, two, three. Three attacks is what you get when you're hasted, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, so I have another attack. You have another attack after this. So you can Branding Smite mm -hmm. in between attacks if you want to. Do you want to okay. Normal Smite on this one? Yes, I'm going to Normal Smite on this. is Branding Smite. Ignore that. Um, okay. So your Normal Smite at level two is 3d8. Okay. Oops. Okay. Then... Fifteen. <laughs> Plus the slash yeah. damage. Yeah, I got the slash of damage. Sorry, right. she is in awful shape after that. But as your divine energy bursts from your sword, she folds in on herself and shatters this gem over here. Son of a gun. All right. He's going to turn around, but he can't do anything else for now. All right. May, you are up. You are on the ground with 12 hit points. Okay. So, um, let's see how far this is. I'm not even going to get up. I'm going to cast um, Cloud of Daggers. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not even going to get up. I'm going to just sit there and I'm going to use uh, one of my fourth level spots for that. So let me cast. Okay. Wow. Um, that is, I don't know what I just did. That's a lot so of damage rolls, is what that it is. It rolls the damage automatically. And that is a lot oh. of damage. Wow. Yeah. So that is the damage that she's looking at when she starts her turn. <laughs> yeah, get up. I'm just going nice. to, um, I'm going to make sure that my clothes are okay and my hair is okay. Okay. All right. Astoria, death safe, please. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's such a contrast. Someone's actively bleeding out. Hey, are my clothes okay? Uh, <laughs> I love that. Okay, I don't know how to do it on D and D Beyond, so I'm just gonna roll it here. All right, so that's Six one fail. Is a failure. No. <laughs> it's the only time. At the beginning of her turn, these daggers slash into the frost maiden. You can see pieces of ice go flying, and there is this whirlwind of ice and snow. You completely lose sight of both the Frost Maiden and your spell for just a few moments. And as the pieces of snow fall the rest of the way down, there is nothing. Oh, I was hoping there'd be like a swan or something. <laughs> just made an ice sculpture. <laughs> Can you awesome. imagine? <laughs> what am I done? <laughs> as the snow falls, you don't see the ice maiden. She was eight feet tall, but as it finishes falling, there is a two foot ice sculpture of a swan at the bottom. Yes. Perfection. Yeah. Perfection. Can one of you heal a story? Yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> go heal her next. Go, oh, go I didn't mean to press that. I wanted to psychically teleport over to um, uh, Astoria, and can I give her like uh, a health before potion? Before you do that, this ice method acts. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks and it sees that the frost maiden is gone, and it goes from cackling to just screaming hysterically. It looks around at the four of you and flies directly to Astoria's prone body uh -uh. and slashes it once. Oh, wait, no, that's two. It's, that'd be two damage. Never mind. It's not going to kill you. 
It would just go over and piss off Brom. I forgot the rules. I was I thought it was one death. Scene. I was like, but holy no, shit! No, it hits you. It's two. I was like, you know, I respect just, you, but like, like just god kill damn. Astoria. No, it would go over. No, I forgot it was two. I honestly <laughs> forgot it was two for a second. Nah, like, oh, no, shit, I would have respected that. No, 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 like, no you know that's what? fine. <laughs> the ice method will go over and slash. No, it's not gonna kill that. Can you? That would be. Oh, 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 oh. And it's just. <laughs> Y'all are sweating about this a lot more than I am. 19 on um, Brom misses as it just starts flailing in Brom's face. Hush, now you can do what you were going to do. I'm teleporting over um, to uh, Astoria. Um, I get 50 feet with this move, so I can, yeah, I, I make it. Yep, you're good. Uh, I make it till your fifty feet. That was actually fifty feet. That was yeah. Uh, it's like, right at it. fifty Whoa. feet. So that was is that my that's my bonus action. So I'm going to use my action to give her my healing potion that I have. Okay. Uh, and just pour it down her throat. There you go. <laughs> Back to seven. Yeah. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> You okay? You okay? You okay? Wake up! Wake up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, please, easy, easy. Sorry. Easy. I'm oh, sorry. sorry. About that I'm time, there's the sound of a of an ice method bursting as Brom cuts this one to pieces, too, without even having to roll. <laughs> he just, like, backhands it. Just like... <laughs> you shrug off the one point of slashing damage it does when it dies. And there is this moment of calm. And then you all realize Mirth fell down the hole. Oh, snap. He's still down there. Mirth, are you okay? <laughs> it just echoes down the hole. Are you okay? Are you okay? I think I'm going to jump in. Let, think... let me cast Feather Fall on you. Yeah. Hush has, Hush has jumped in. Hush oh, just, like, has hasn't even been That's fine. You can send Featherfall on him. Okay. Uh, are you going to cast it on just him or on everybody? On everyone. Say, there's no reason not to cast it on everyone. Yeah, let me go ahead and cast it. I think, can I cast it on one ward and one person at a time? No, I think it's up, uh, to, up to like 10, right? It's yeah. up to five. Oh, five. five. Okay. Oh, specific. that's a stupid wording. We're going to ignore that wording. Falling Choose up to five creatures. falling creatures within range. Become falling. Everyone count to three and everyone fall. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Hush, you dive down this, this hole. And as you do, you feel feather fall catch hold. Um, you start to fall and you hit the side and you see very quickly it's sloped. And you begin sliding rapidly down the side of this tunnel. And it takes you 10 feet, 20 feet, 30, 40, 50, 60. It takes you more than 120 feet before you slide to a stop at the bottom. Right at Mirth's feet who is standing next to you with a single claw to his lips. The rest of you follow shortly behind. And that is where we're actually oh. going to end. Sliding oh. down one after another, you all find yourselves in a room with a pool of steaming water. There are bones and remains of something scattered across the floor. And there is a very nervous look. So yeah, with us down to four, I thought we would handle the fight with the Frost Maiden and uh, pause for there. Um, the five of you find yourself at the bottom of one of these holes that you'd considered jumping down before. One similar 
to the one the helmet was tossed down that or the bowl was tossed down that uh Alani is looking for. We'll see what can make steaming free flowing water in the middle of a frozen frost maiden's vault next time we get together. I don't know if I <laughs> want to no, I don't want to I don't want to know what makes Oh, heck the we... player knows and there it's one of my favorite monsters. It's one of Oof. my favorites in the whole monster manual because they're almost <laughs> it... never used. Nope, they aren't. They're almost never used. It's crazy how little they're used. And they're so cool. Like, oh, I, I think that'd be great. I think they're cool. Uh, we're going to take just a couple of minutes to talk a little bit. We won't take oh too long. Uh, we're breaking a little early and we came in a little late, but with being a player down and going through a boss fight, uh, I figure it's better to do that than to just keep chugging along. Uh, so let's take a couple minutes Chit chat. What did you think of the fight with the Frost Maiden? Was my it's not really a puzzle, but kind of puzzly element uh, sufficient, interesting, uh, pain in the butt? And uh, um, what did you think of the fight in general? And I do want to say, heck, sorry that I almost accidentally killed a. Oh no, I, you're great. You're, I with, thought it was so comedic. I thought it would have been very funny. I, <laughs> it's just like, oh, this method comes up and murders you. <laughs> It, it would imagine? immediately, it would immediately mean that I'd have to figure out how to put some Nethralee's life-giving magic down here oh, because this yeah, module okay. provides no way of bringing people back. Oh well, so, yeah, that yeah. would that would be rough then. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was great. It was a great combat. Like seriously, I I really liked that the mirrors were as dynamic as they were like there were more things to do with them that it, than just like originally we thought like we're like oh you know she's gonna stay yeah. behind send these darts and really whittle us down but then when she appeared in front of all of us through one it was like oh she can do more with this oh no <laughs> oh that is literally the the thought process it was like aha i got you and then uh-oh She's standing right next to me. This isn't good. Um, this is not good at all. Um, scary, scary, scary. And thank you for the cutting words, because that probably saved my bacon. Um, you, ooh. You all did. It's oh. kind of funny, because it's one of those rare times where it's like, it worked exactly like I thought it would. Because I thought you would get close to figure it out. And I thought somebody would try and break one right away. And either way, you're standing next to one. And the big thing with boss fights, and this is this is D&D in general, what wins and loses fights is action economy. If a boss only has a couple attacks around, they lose. There's no way for them to win. It's why they have legendary actions and stuff like that that got added in in 4th and 5th edition. Um, but against, you know, four people wailing on them, they need some way to avoid that especially when a massive heavy hitter like a paladin shows up and gets ready to lay you out in one round, especially a hasted paladin. So from the beginning, the plan was when she gets hit, she can hatch from one of the mirrors. It mm -hmm. mitigates that huge advantage of the action economy. And uh, because everyone was drawn in, it terrifies whoever decided to stay behind and shoot from a distance. Oh yeah, for sure. sure. And like that part of part of me was so worried about the action economy, at least on our end, because like as soon as we learned that it was beneficial to destroy those mirrors, I'm like, well, there's so many and they're all over the map, so like we realistically can't go and destroy every single one. So like you need a duality of like someone that's just going up and hitting the frost man who's doing this damage, but like also whittling down her method of escape. Um, so yeah, there's lots of options for how that can go, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You were about to say, yeah, go ahead. Heal. I'll try to do any, she doesn't have any healing. So that's why she sat down and was I mean, just no like, okay, so <laughs> Oh no, don't no worry, I don't I I have I thought that was fantastic. The comedic oh, yeah. like with yeah. how comedic our group is, I was like, this is so fitting. This is so so good narratively. There's there's no way for you to get over there fast enough. And there's still enemies there. Sometimes you just gotta go. Mm -hmm. 
hold on for a round. And, yeah. and guess what? Yep. It was fine. Like that's what the it's actually surprisingly hard to die in D and D, and permanently. Is, yeah. Like that's what I was like. Yeah, we can. Yeah, you you have but a couple at, rounds probably. But at the same time, there was a cheapness in my mind immediately of a method finishing someone off. So while it yeah. is simultaneously hard to die in D and D, it is also easy to kill in D and D. Because I mean, honestly, the the Frost Maiden could just as easily have stood over the top of, um, of Astoria and finished her round. Oh yeah, a part of me thought that was gonna happen, and I was like, "Well, you know what? I I talked a lot of trash at her, so you know what? This is fair." Yeah, I thought it it would have been um, penance for um, sending the ram at her twice. Um, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, that. That ram is going to be sent to her so many more times. Like we're just gonna, we're, we gotta like charge it up more so that we can just like spam it, spam that she ram. Knew, and she said, "Yes, you deserve to die, and I hope you burn in hell." You ever one of those times where you wish you would have thought of something in the moment? I should have had her reach down, take the ring off you, put it on, and just hammer a ram <laughs> into you. <laughs> Oh my no! god! I'm so That's, mad that, that would have I didn't so think funny. of that. How dare! <laughs> so well, there's mad another I form, didn't... right? Like I'm guessing there's another should... form. Yeah, there's like, still maybe time. Can still do it. There's still time. <laughs> ah. uh, oh so, honest sure. question though, I did kill and immediately unkill a PC. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, honestly, as players, would you rather I had not forgotten? Because in my mind, it was a hit takes away one save. That's what happened in my mind. Um, so I thought it was going to be funny because the the method could go over Basher. She'd be at two instead of three, and then they'd have to save her before you know save a story before the last one. Um, I like the but story instead, of it's two. That- but it says two, and that occurred as soon as I saw the look on your face. I went, "Oh wait, it's two! <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, there was the shock. Is like I forgot the method was there. It's like, ah, oh, shit. That I, I thought he was just gonna run. I think it was more my shock of like, you know, a method turning around and actually doing something. More so than it's like, oh, <laughs> killing my character. Yeah. Like again, like I totally would have respected that. But like, I'm also appreciative to have my character still. So you know, yeah. It's yeah, it's 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 both for me as well. It's like, ah oh, man, like I I expected the method to just I don't know dissolved or something. I don't know. It's yeah. like we we got the main one, we got the main bad guy. She's gone. <laughs> so why would this guy stick around? But he did. It was like, uh oh. And and <laughs> and the, the the immediate response is like, well, I'm gonna you killed my queen, so I'm gonna kill one of you. I was like, dear. Yeah. You know, I was like, "Oh no!" But it was, and it was really good. Um, but at the same time, yeah, don't kill our car- characters, please. <laughs> I don't know what to say, honestly. No, like, it's, it either, is, it's either an way, honest question. Awesome. either way, it would have been awesome. I think, um, like uh, to 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 deal with the ramifications of of losing a story, even if it's for a, a, a short period of time, because I'm sure we would have found a way to bring the story back as soon as humanly possible um or halfingly possible um yeah <laughs> may would have ordered all of you to like bring a story back and not <laughs> like, that yeah, probably would have worked as well no, the world's ending but no you bring your story back now mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she just popped up so yeah I was just kidding i didn't die yeah, it's like I'm just imagining in the meantime if it wasn't immediate, like having to like bring another character into this, and you know, like what crossed my mind immediately, I was like, I could make a knoll. <laughs> There's a bunch of them here. It's like, wait, don't shoot, don't, don't kill me. Would have been great. Yeah. Um. So, question because yes, it is known there is one more form of the Frost Maiden somewhere. Um. Even eh, Brom being a religious person would know just innately that that's definitely how the Frost Maiden functions. So it's not like a secret to the characters, uh, as long as at some point Brom goes, uh, there's one more somewhere. Um, to which Hush would go, what? Yeah. No, no, he definitely tell them, but um, 
I mean, he's hoping they GTFO before. <laughs> Better just to get out of there. Yeah, he's hoping they're gonna because they're gonna have to fight her again no matter what. So there's no point in fighting her in this cave if they can get out fast enough. Makes sense. Like, because um, she can regen in less than a day. So. Uh, so I pulled out her regeneration further because we're on the wrong side of the uh, um, winter solstice now. Oh, uh, okay. So. Essentially, it's it's either that or you fight her three times in a row back to back, which I think is. That's a I, lot like that's that just that's just like a raid, basically. Yeah, also, it China, feels. It, yeah, like accepted. those are just raid bosses. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it's it's it would be like three sessions of bashing weapons against the Frost Maiden. Yeah. And I, I don't know. Which kind of happened. I mean, we did back to back anyway, so to speak. But there, there was, was like there was break in between, though. Was the thing like we had other things happening, and then we would just get hit with another like, oh shit, she's right here. Uh oh. Yeah, that was crazy. It would be interesting to to see um, how to how to balance like action economy over a longer fight, um, especially when we're starting to run out of resources and spells and things like that. If we like. And I know sort of what happens in there. Can can we be a bit more intelligent with uh, some of the things we do? Because like I I can kind of go as a rogue. I can kind of be unlimited as long as there's people around me. But what happens if like it was legitimately scary thinking the story was down and down for good? Because it was like like as a as a player, I've got less I've got less power as well because I don't have someone else to get advantage off of and stuff like that it's like oh how how are we going to do this so hmm not to say you should kill our, all our players though um HP, no. and leave me and leave me for last or something like that <laughs> no, don't do that, oh, don't do oh, that. God. so uh I... a question that i would have is in this third form do you want any punches pulled at all or do you want the frost maiden to try and because I will say it shocked me. Uh, roll 20 blessed every single roll of the Frostmaid. Yeah, it was terrifying. I was like, how are you rolling mm -hmm. above 20 with all of these? You have a plus seven. Her, how? I'm saying, if you didn't see, her modifier's plus seven on all of her attacks. Yeah, I uh, like I was surprised the form. first uh the first round that got thrown at Astoria, like how low she rolled for two of those. I was like, that really saved me. I would have gone down a lot sooner if like those mm -hmm. had actually hit, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did not enjoy going down below zero. I mm -hmm. prefer not to. <laughs> well it's it's a legitimate question because it is it this is your guys' game and my game and it's 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 a real question. Well we personally I prefer not to, to um because I'm attached to my character, so please don't kill her. Okay. Please. So preference not to go all out. I'm I'm all for like okay, you're not part of my other game where I've been trying to kill my characters, but um <laughs> I'm I'm all for character death, but also I think I'd like to see the end of the story before he... before Brom but, dies. If, if if possible. Just saying. Like I'm not I'm not pro killing Brom, but I'm just saying like if it's part of a narrative, then I'm fine. But like, I just with an incomplete narrative, it's like, yeah, not ideal. But you know, whatever. You broke my toy for no reason. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, yeah. as long as there would be like yeah. a narrative reason, it's not like getting a kill shot just yeah, to get a kill shot. Like, yeah, I'm I'm down. Yeah, I've definitely had a GM do that where they would like have. Um, enemies coup de gras like down characters and that was just so annoying yeah like, don't we tunnel mad. us is i think most, what we're hearing most most monsters don't care about coup de grawing because there's stuff trying to kill them mm -hmm. so that's kind of the it, it actually would make sense for the ice method to have flown over and killed the story <laughs> and i'm almost <laughs> sitting here wondering if i should have killed the story which is kind of funny <laughs> Oh, well, the the other fine. reason why I'm not I'm not pro killing Astoria is it would be really hard to revive her and or get another character in here, so we'd be down a character for God knows how long. 
Well, so I would have, but since we're not meeting two weeks from now, I would have a month to figure out how to provide <laughs> yeah. those means. I just as have a stray knoll from the dungeon where I was like, don't shoot oh, me. Well, it it could be. It could be, uh, I'm a big fan. I've been <laughs> following fan. your work through the entire vault, yeah, and I'm Jesus, a big Scott. fan. It's got cold hands t-shirt. This oh has cold God. hands t-shirt. Our only Can merch. Can you imagine? There's, this starts running at us with a piece of ice with fan art etched into it. <laughs> oh my God. Incredible. Um... No, but it could be a case where a temporary character like that is put in while everyone tries to save or find a way to save the other character. Well, which is to, very doable. If you don't, then you'll have to go to the... the I don't know what May would tell you. But, <laughs> yeah, you'd have to go to like a cleric that can do like reincarnation. Or whatever. I, there, th we have already established this cave is full of super powerful magic. Oh, that's true. Maybe there's something. Yeah, so just get to see. In the ice. Just in the ice. Just touch it and there's a there's a spell scroll for with um reincarnation in there. So Mace first order to all do is to if one of you fails all your death saves, is find the special ring. <laughs> but, <laughs> honestly, there's a lot of different ways. Uh, thinking about it more, yeah, we could we could temp character and have a way to resurrect people. We could not coup de gras at all and pay very much attention to whether, you know, keeping it intense without removing the danger. Um, but yeah, so these are things that I think are worth chit chatting about throughout the next couple of weeks before we meet again. Um, because it is a big question and it's one where, and this is where that's why this conversation exists. Uh, is because it's all of our game. We want to have a game that's fun for everybody. Yes, everyone can like vote or something. Everyone can what? Vote or something. Oh, vote or something. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll do the details of it. Um, we won't disempower anyone, even if it means, you know, she doesn't pull her punches against some characters and does against others. I'm fine with that sort of thing. We'll talk I about that like more. Yeah. So, because I didn't weigh in, I I am personally fine with trying to kill Hush, only because I do think he's kind of unkillable. At the <laughs> oh, don't say that. It's in 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 the in that his you know his his AC is relatively high, but not he's not it's not super high, but his dexterity is you know with dex staves and stuff like that. It's he's he's difficult to hit. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 deal damage, and also he's a hard hitter. Like when he gets damage, he gets damage. So it's like at at some point, I know the target is going to be on Hush's back, and I I'm prepared for it, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm also prepared to get hit a lot. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're just you're getting the small mm -hmm's from HP, and I oh. I don't know if you know what that means yet. Like, no, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. Look, well, I'm I'm the only one that wants yeah. to climb on it, like. Fear the, the child. Halfling. No, you're not the only one. Kill the Kill halfling. The no. Kill the halfling. <laughs> no. Hey, look. the The fact of the matter is, there are plenty of things that require intelligence saving throws. There are plenty of things that require charisma saving throws. There are plenty of things that require oh. wisdom saving throws. You don't have to get hit to to, to die. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's true. Yep. So, and uh, anyway, yeah, the, the actually the hard one to kill right now is Braum because almost all of the Frost Maiden's heavy attacks are cold, cold mm. attacks that have to connect, which means Braum has resistance to all of them and Braum has an AC through the moon. So, and also he's really good at hurting her because she's naughty. Yes, and Braum hits uh, harder than uh, uh, just unimaginable. Not to not to detract from the critical sneak attack that happened. No, the critical sneak attack was amazing, but like honestly, Azrus hit a lot harder. So there's that. So be, be glad mm -hmm. Azrus isn't here to yep. feel ridiculous and of damage instead. But also... that combination as well is is really deadly because if you have, oh, if, Bron is. if Bron is standing next to you know uh, an enemy, mm -hmm. Hush gets advantage. 
It's just right. yeah. and so then it's like smite advantage potential for um oh yeah it's gonna be crazy which, which is actually essentially what inspired the mechanics of this fight to why the I hit like shifted because yeah, it, it was so cool yeah it, it negates a lot of that one rounding ability mm. anyway really, really cool. so that is us for tonight we are going to go out and do our outros uh so everyone tell us who you are where to find you next and uh we will uh yeah we'll see you after that so heck go ahead all right hey everybody it's me sir heck a lot you know and as per usual tonight i played astoria the asmr lore bard um you can find me on all of the social medias at sir heck a lot including twitch itch technically twitter um instagram i'm more on blue sky than anything at this point now um but just find me as the best place to figure out where i'm going to be in the ttrpg space next because i tend to wander just a whole lot um, most notably, uh, you're gonna well, I have a three stream streak uh, coming up for this week. Um, on Sunday, you can catch me over on Indoor Adventures with Apocalypse Keys. We're back, and we are starting the session with my character's consequences. So it's gonna be great. Um, on Monday, you can catch me right back here with Osworn, Ozzy the Dragon Lords, along with HP. Um, and then on Tuesday, you can catch me on Enchanting Sorcery with uh, Into the Old Margrave and Into the Woods Inspired 5e campaign. Um, I do a whole bunch of other stuff. There's some other stuff in the works. Like uh, the 30th uh, just got announced. I'm going to be over on Magic Academy um, in a Capture the Flag type one shot. It's going to be wild. Um, it, the teams are already incredibly competitive and I don't know how I feel about that. Um, all kinds of other stuff in the work. So, uh, just stay tuned. Um, uh, but yeah, that's me. Fantastic. Down and around the T. Hi, I'm T and, uh, forgot what I was going to say. Um, basically I'm only active here now for the time being. And, um, you can catch me on Twitter. Um, at Dr. T. Houston or on Tumblr if you want to. Um, otherwise, I'm sometimes on Neon Lights Roleplay, hanging around, talking about whatever, including my mom's graying hair, apparently. Um, <laughs> so uh, if you have any, uh, if you want to talk to me, you have any questions about Brom, or I'm probably going to bring back outfit voting now that I have more time on my hands again. Um, so if you want to vote for my stupid outfit for the week um i will start doing that again perfect sounds good down and around to janie hi i'm janie i don't like doing this part (laughs) 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 i told it all (laughs) uh find me online at janiepot75 where I will forget to update anything because apparently I just like showing up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I was... Word on word on the street is maybe there's uh you, you might see Janie some more in October. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Right over Rumor here has next it. month. Dun dun dun. Oh yeah, there's a uh, um Neon Fright one shot that I'm running. Perfect. I'm so bad at Pro doll. I just, I am. Look, you'll, you'll just have to make a list. I have one. You have one? <laughs> you just gotta yeah. read the list. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I have one. I just, okay, I'll, I'm gonna try this. Go for it. I have a game on Sunday on Singularity uh, called Breaking Neon. Um, that is at I don't know afternoon sometime. I didn't write down this time. I look. I wrote down a list of stuff that I'm doing. Uh, on Tuesday, I'm going to be on Girls Run These Worlds on an Old Gods of Appalachia game. Um, so you know, I do not want to buy sunglasses. That that's one of the things that popped up on my list and add. And I don't think I have anything else this week after that. Oh, next Saturday I have a game on um, Polish Cryptid. 
another D and D game, and that's all for that week. Fantastic! See, doing things on the internet. Fantastic, wonderful, and last but not least, Squiggles. Hey, 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 hey! What's up? My name is Squiggles. I have been Squiggles. I've also been uh, Hush, the lovable rogue. Um, uh, yeah, um, you can catch me everywhere um, under that um, moniker, Squiggles. How it's spelt there. I, I won't do it right now because it's it's crazy. Um, I'm not currently in any other shows at the moment. But if you want me in a show, just like hit me up. I'm, I'm definitely awesome take him. He's great. Yeah. Um, stop it. Stop it. But you gotta no, share I, him. He's very good. I try. I try my best. Thank you, guys. Don't even say that. Um. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um. I'll be here same time next two weeks ish. Yeah. Four weeks, okay. yeah. A Four month weeks. from now. It's the bad thing about every two week games is when you miss one, it just feels like it's so long. It does. And I am uh, the last hit point hero, and I have been the DM for this evening. You can find me on Oathsworn when that plays next. You can find me in a handful of discords if you look for me. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. That covers all our bases. There's nothing else in mind, so it leaves just one thing. It is one rule, and one rule only. It is a rule for a rule for a reason, because it's the only rule you need, and if you don't understand the rule, you shouldn't be on the internet anyway, so be good. That's the rule. Be good. Bye, everybody.